I just got off work. Today is October 4th, and I put in my two weeks notice today. Um, I am excited, and I'm a little emotional because I have been with the company for six and a half years. And me and my my boss, we had a very long discussion and he understood where I was coming from. And it was just it was just amazing to just get that off of me. So I'm not gonna upload this video until I actually um start my new job. But yes, today is October 4th, like I said, and today I put in my two-week notice, and I will probably come back, if not today, I'll probably come back and just do like a sit-down um, between now and when I upload this video about the reason, the reason why I put in my two-week notice today, and the steps that I took to make sure that I'm set up for success and not failure and yeah so i am super excited i'm super super excited i haven't i've only told a few people i have not told my associates so i already know they're gonna have me crying they're gonna have me emotional but um they understand they understand where i'm coming from they understand what i'm trying to do and where i'm trying to be at in life and I just can't stand still when God wants you to move you have to move because if you don't he's gonna make you uncomfortable until you do so and um, I've been dealing with that for the past two years so like I said I'll come back to you guys and explain a little bit more in detail um, like the reason why and the steps that I took but I just wanted to record, you know, this little part because, um, like I said, I just literally just pulled out of the parking lot and got on the road. So, yeah, I'm excited. So, yeah, I hope y'all are having an amazing day and just stay tuned to the rest of this video whenever I decide to upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hello, everyone. I know... You're kind of confused by the title of today's video. Um, I just made it home from homecoming. So this video will go up on Friday. And Friday on the 18th would be my last day at my current job. So I currently am employed for a company that I've been with for the past six and a half years. Um, I started working with that company when I was 23 years old. I literally graduated in May, went to my Zeta conference in June, and um, got the job there, and I started working in July. So I never really figured out exactly what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I have a degree in English and a minor in communication. And I just didn't never know what I wanted to do with my life. I, I thought that I had the rest of my life to figure that part out. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I've been working for the company for the past six and a half years. There has literally been a restructure every single year that I have been with that company. And I have seen so many people come and go. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, even when I transferred to the place that I'm at now, on my first day of work, there was five of us beginning our journey um, into management. So we really didn't have anyone that we could like use for an example. Like we was really just spending for ourselves out there. And I should have known that that would have been a red flag. But, you know, me being young and me, you know, wanting to work because I was good at it. And, you know, I like I said, I didn't take the time to see exactly what I wanted to do. It was just good money for a 23 year old um, at that particular time. And just as I have been working with that company, 
like I said, I've seen so many people come and go. I've seen so much happen. And sometimes it's good, and don't get me wrong, and sometimes it is bad. Um, so, yeah, for the past two years, I have been so uncomfortable. And I can remember back when I was 23 years old, I said I only wanted to work for this particular company for five years just to get that management experience. And between that time, I've been able to figure out to see exactly what I wanted to do. So I tell you no lie, the year that my anniversary was finna get ready to be five years, I began to be uncomfortable. And I was like, man, is this amazing? Because whatever you speak out into this world, you know, it's going to come back to you. And when I tell you God has been shifting me and beating my behind over these last two years, because I try to justify it by, oh, I like the people. So I'm going to continue to stay with the company because I love my associates. I love all 150 plus of those associates. Um, and I didn't want to leave them because I didn't want to be like the other managers, if that makes sense. Oh, no, I don't want to get cheery eyed. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't want to leave because I didn't want to be like the other people that have came to manage this facility. Um, you know, I wanted to be there for them. And, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything. Like, I am a very liked person. <laughs> I am very liked. And all of my associates come to me with all types of problems. And, you know, not just work problems, but life problems just in general. And, you know, to have those relationships that I have had with them over the past six and a half years, it's just been, it's been amazing. And I appreciate them being that honest with me and being that open with me and so it was a place of security and like I said the past two and a half years I have just been so uncomfortable because I feel like well I felt like that I was holding back from my purpose <laughs> I was oh hold on <laughs> Uh, try to get through this video without crying but um I just feel like I was whew, holding back on the purpose that God had set for me so whew, calm down girl it's okay So, you know, I started to do other things. So I started to do, like, to try to find fulfillment. So I started a YouTube channel. Um, I started driving for Uber and Lyft. I started, you know, traveling, seeing friends, spending time with family, you know, trying to keep that void of wanting to leave down as much as possible. Because, you know... I don't want to, it, it sounds selfish when I say this, but I was just like, oh, well, I'm making good money. I don't have to live this purposeful life. I just got comfortable. I wanted to just be there and just go to work, go home, go to work, go home. <laughs> and that wasn't enough for me anymore. So... I decided to put my two-week notice in. Don't get me wrong. My GM, my current GM, he is amazing. He is absolutely amazing. Me and him, we had a hour-long conversation. Just about, well, an hour and a half. Just about life in general. And just about where I see myself at. And don't get me wrong. He tried to talk He tried to talk me out of it. Um, and then the next day, he came back still trying to talk me out of it. But I was just like, look, you know, if 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 what I have set for myself doesn't work out, um, I'm leaving the right way. So, you know, if I have to return, um, I can because I am leaving the right way. I'm not being fired. I'm not being terminated or anything like that. Um, so I can always come back. So that's what, you know, I keep that in the back of my mind. But the thing is, I don't want to. 
because it just I'm not gonna get into everything that happens, but it's a lot that goes on in the in the company in general. It's a lot of stuff that I don't agree with. It's a lot of stuff that it's not right. And I have to just take it because at the end of the day it's not my company at the end of the day this is not something that i built for myself so who am i to say what they can and cannot do i'm nobody and like i tell people just like in general i'm not saying this about my you know my job or my current job or my past job or whatever but at the end of the day the company the business is going to do what's best for themselves because i feel like if I were to drop dead, my position is posted tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yes, my associates will be sad. But at the end of the day, the company itself is going to continue to move. Nothing is going to stop because of me. So I took that into consideration. I was just like, I want to build something for myself um, eventually. And like I am going on to another company um, that I will be working on for somebody else, but I will be making so much more money than what I'm making now. And um, I love what my friend girl Jessica, what she says, she makes her nine to five, her side hustle and her side hustle is her job. You know what I'm saying? And so like, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make my nine to five, my side hustle. And I'm trying to create a business for myself and for my family because I want wealth for my children, children's, and even though like I don't have kids, I'm not in a relationship or anything like that, um, and that's a whole nother, whole nother video. <laughs> but um, I start to think about that, and I was just like, you know, I, I can live a life of abundance if I'm following God's purpose and not my particular purpose, if that makes sense. I, I can live the life that I am set to live just by stepping outside of the way and letting God lead me. And that's what I had to decide to do. I cannot tell you, y'all, I applied to eight different states, <laughs> none of which was in Mississippi. And the job that I applied for, it was in a whole nother state, probably about uh, eight to 10 hour car ride and when I filled out the application um they reached out to me like immediately and it was like hey I want you to come to blah 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 Wednesday and I'm like Wednesday <laughs> I gotta go to work I can't like you're not just down the road I can't just you know come see you <laughs> so I was just like no well I really do appreciate you guys reaching out to me um but unfortunately I'm from Mississippi and I'm not able to get there didn't hear anything for a week or two and during this time i'm applying and interviewing for other jobs so if you have watched my solo travel trip when i was in um nashville i was actually there for two interviews so um if i have some well i'll link that down below but that's the reason why i was in nashville for two interviews and they wasn't what I thought that it was, and they trying to pay me thirty thousand less than what I'm already currently making. You got me messed up. You feel me, y'all? Y'all be shaming yourself. Y'all want these people to have all these degrees and all this experience, but you want to pay that amount of money? Anyway, anyway, let's let me let me get off that. <laughs> so um. So, you know, a week or two, a week went by. So another uh, another guy from the company had emailed me again. He was like, hey, the regional or district manager, I can't remember her particular title. She will be in Columbus, Mississippi. Um, excuse me. She'll be in Columbus, Mississippi. Um, and we'll like to set you up for an interview. And I was like, okay, sure. So they was like, oh, well, we could set you up for an interview at 10 o'clock. I was like, oh, well, fortunately, that time doesn't work for me. <laughs> you know, I'm still pushing back. I'm like, unfortunately, that time doesn't work for me because I had to be at work at 12. And from where I said now, I am um, like 50 minutes from my job. And then to interview at that location, that would have put me an hour and 15 minutes out. And you never know how long interviews or anything like that is going to be. So I didn't want to test it. 
So I was just like, well, you know, if, if she is back in this area again, you know, just let me know at a better time so I can be able to get there and, you know, be prepared or whatever. So a couple of hours went by. He was like, oh, no, uh, we really want to interview you. We we checked out your resume. Um, some other people from the company, um, they know me so they was like no we we want you we want to interview with you so they was like um do eight o'clock work i was like oh sure you know that's plenty of time for me to get to the interview then get to work and you know do everything else that i have to do so i was like okay sure y'all me and a lady we talked for probably about an hour and a half two hours it didn't even feel like an interview and because it was just it was really good conversation you know and you know, I was being very honest and very transparent about what I needed in my next company because before I even started applying for jobs, and I started applying for jobs probably about three months ago, before I even started applying for jobs or anything like that, I wrote a list down and I prayed over that list. I put the amount of money that I was willing to take. Um, I put... I put, you know, like core values that I have for myself, like generally, and I wanted that in a company, you know, just like a, a respectful company. Um, they treat their associates well, you know, um, and, and I even came up with questions. So like as she finished interviewing me, I interviewed her like I had like I had my, my notepad. And I, I went through the line. Any question that she answered, you know, as we was just having casual conversation, of course, I didn't re-ask those. But I asked questions like, how is work-life balance for you? Um, you know, how do you feel about the company? How long have you been with the company? How long do it take? How long did it take for you to advance with the company? Um, what is the career path? You know, and what is the how 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 are bonuses structured? Are they yearly? Or are they quarterly? Or what what how? Like I ask so many doggone questions, um, and I prayed over that whole entire list before I started applying. And what I mean, okay, so I had the interview with her. Everything went well didn't think nothing of it so a week went by again the guy reached back out to me again that was um in communication with me through email he reached back out to me again and he said hey we'd like to set you up with a skype interview um with someone who's the ladies boss that i interviewed with and i was like okay cool cool this this is going in the right direction so cool so we set the interview time up and i'm gonna tell you how the devil tried to play me <laughs> so the day before i had went to the library because i say i can i stay in a country and I'm, I'm out here now but i stay in a country and i didn't want to do an interview out here because i didn't want my phone to lose connection i didn't want you know anything to happen or anything like that so i was like okay i'm gonna go to town i'm gonna go to the library and you know i'm gonna do my interview there boom so i go to the library y'all the day before i asked the lady was it okay for me to come up you know set up and all that stuff like that to do my phone interview with the guy on skype she said yes that's fine um it shouldn't be any you know anybody here because the kids are at school during this time and all that stuff like that da, 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 da. boom so i leave home an hour before my interview start because i just wanted to get there set up you know calm myself down because i be worked up <laughs> calm myself down a little bit Y'all, when I pulled up to the library, how about kids was in there? Like my library, my my interview was at ten o'clock that morning, and kids was in the library. And I'm like, why y'all not at school? <laughs> so come to find out, you know, the young lady she didn't know that 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 space was already reserved for the next day. So I'm like, oh crap! Now I'm panicking. I don't know where I'm gonna do this interview at. So I was like, okay, well, I could go do the interview at, at the park. You know, I'll be outside. Ain't going to be nobody around. The kids are at school, so nobody going to be at the park. Pull up at the park. Oh, this is reserved for 1045. No, 945 because my interview was at 10. This is reserved um, at 945 to like 12 o'clock. Ooh. I was like, oh, Lord. Now I'm really pushing time. I'm like, I'm going to have to do my interview just how I'm talking to you guys. I'm like, I'm going to have to do my interview in the car. And it, to me, that is unprofessional. So I didn't want to do it. But if push came to shove, I would have done it. 
Um, so I call my home girl. She's a lawyer. Um, she has her own law firm in West Point. So I call her. Um, well, I know I text her. I was like, "Hey, are you at your office?" So she was in court, and she didn't text me to afterwards. But which which was fine because I knew she would have just you know been like, "Look, you got it. Go." Because that's that's my soror. Uh, but you know I couldn't get a hold of her, and so now time is literally dwindling down. So. I went to a business. I, I did my interview in a business that is downtown. Um, my mother is friends with the lady who works there. And she works alone. But it is a lot of people that normally go in and out. But I was like, I just need to be in a building. I don't want to do this interview in my car. I need to be in a building so I can have this this interview with this man. And, you know, because I don't want to seem so desperate. I don't want to be like you know i need this job because i don't need anything i don't need nothing but god I, I don't need anything so i went there i was like hey miss her name i was like can i please 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 do the interview here i got the interview at this time it's like 20 minutes they're gonna call me on skype i just need to sit here can I do the interview? She was like, yeah, that's fine. Y'all, when I tell you not one person came in the building, my mom came and uh, my mom came because she always comes to hang out with her friend girl before she goes to the gym. So my mom came and it was like one other guy that was just there and they was just talking. But when I tell you not one customer um, came into that building the whole time I was doing that interview and me and that guy, we was on Skype for probably like 45 minutes to an hour. I said, this nothing but God because when I tell you people go in and out of that building so so much that I thought it was going to be like a distraction it was just going to be very unprofessional um and stuff like that and I was just like thank you God then nobody came in so we had the interview and then he told me to um set up well no he said he'll reach back out to me so i could set up for a tour at one of the tupelo locations so i toured the facility like that that thursday i think i interviewed on a tuesday i toured the facility that thursday and come to find out the guy who i toured with he had been 20 years and he had retired so i was just like oh my god so now you know oh i said the name of the company i'm gonna bleep that out <laughs> so um so I was like, okay, so he know where I'm coming from when I ask these particular questions. So I was asking him this question, and when I tell you, he was just he was he was very like open and very honest and everything like that. And I was just like, thank God. So I asked him the question. I said, hey, what is the biggest difference between such and such company and this company? And his answer blew me. I'm not going to say what he said because the people that are watching this video that may not know where I'm currently working at. But I mean, if you follow me on social media, you know where I work at. But um, the difference that he said is what I have been feeling. And I was just like, oh my God. And like, I, I mean, I got honest. Like, I got open and honest with him as well. Like, look, I'm trying to get myself out of debt. You know, I'm not asking you to tell me how much you make because I don't want to know how much you make. But I just want to know what's the ballpark of... Because I already knew what I was willing to take, the less that I was willing to take. And that's just the, the, the least that I was willing to take. Um, And it was more than what I, what I currently make. But anyway, um, so like, you know, I was like, so how do an advancement work? So he been with this company that I am going to now only for two years, two and a half years. And he started off as an operational manager, which is the position that I am going into. And he is now a general manager. So, you know, I did my own research. So I'm already knowing the ballpark just based on conversations that I'm having and things that I know that they're saying that there are bonuses and stuff like that. And let me, let me just say this. I'm not going to another company because of money. I'm going to another co company because I am doing a lot of things. And this is one of the things that I'm doing to better myself. This just so happened to be more money. And I don't feel like I have to take a step down in pay 
to get to where I need to be. I don't believe in that. Like people say, oh, well, I have my own business, but you making less money than what you currently was making. Like I believe in doing things at the same time or building up to that like if you take a step down you need to be back up to where you are at least a year if you out there on your own and you're doing your own thing i don't feel like i have to take a, let me let me let me say it this way i don't feel like i have to take a step down to be happy at another company as far as financial i i am getting myself out of debt so finances is fine money is a huge part of the reason why i am leaving but another part of why I'm leaving because I, I'm unhappy um, at that job. And I don't see myself growing because I know, like I've been an assistant for the past six years, literally an assistant manager for the past six years. And that's not to say that people have not talked to me about, you know, general manager or club managers or whatever other positions. Like I have had different offers within my company, but it's something that I never wanted to do because I see how people are treated and I didn't want to be a part of that. I'm not going to be victim, uh, be a victim to that. So I stayed right where I was at because that's where I was good at. I was amazing at. I'm still amazing at it. <laughs> but you know, I I didn't. I, I was scared to go up to make more money because when you get up, boy. <laughs> y'all work for the company you, you you know how it is so i was afraid to go up so literally i have been the same for the past six and a half years and it get boring it does it gets so boring doing the same thing every day expecting the same thing every single day it is boring and i'm not fulfilled but anyway um so after like had that conversation and had that tour with that guy i was just like oh my god you know this is everything that i had thought of so it wanted and prayed about so i left there um i left there and i went to the movies with one of my friend girls and we went to see hustler and um when i got home at like three o'clock you know, my brother when i got home like at three o'clock three forty-five or something around that area they had hold on hey come get my suitcase out the car my please what's up brandon what's up, nah i'm finna come out but um i'm sorry <laughs> so um like when i had made it home from the movies and stuff like that i had real i did check my email Y'all, I left the tour at like 11.45. At 12.05, I had a job offer in my email that exceeded my own expectation. And I'm just like, really? Really? So, my brother figured it could have my cock in my suitcase. Hold on. He, he a mess. Look, I'll tell y'all, hold on, like y'all here. Hi, Brady. Uh. <laughs> damn, damn, miss. Um, I don't even know why I was it. Oh, okay. So I had left there around about 11.45. Went to the movies at 12, 12 o'clock or 12.15. Um, they had sent me an offer letter at 12.05. And I didn't see that offer letter until I got home from the movies. It was around about 3.45. And I was just like, oh my God, they really, really want me. They are exceeding the expectation that I even set for myself. And I was just like, okay. So I began the process of you know just like trying to get stuff finalized and all this stuff like that because one of the things that i did pray about is that whatever company that i go to that they relocate me even though i do have money saved up because like i said i've been i've been applying for a job for the past three months so i have been saving like a check a month you know just to cover like moving and all that stuff like that but i pray that 
the company that I go to relocate me so I can just throw out that money at my debt. And that is exactly what is going to happen. Um, so Friday, and you'll probably see this video Saturday. But Friday on my way to Hattiesburg, I actually stopped in that location in which I was going to be at, you know, walked around into the place, the company that I was going to be at. No one knew who I was. And I just wanted to see the feel of it. And it was it was a phenomenal feeling feeling. And yes, I was nervous. And yes, I was very, very hesitant to even walk into this company. I'm like, somebody didn't Google me because you can Google my name and I'm, I'm going to pop up because I post a lot of pictures for one and I do a lot of things for, you know, for two. So I was just like, man, some, somebody got to know who I was and nobody knew who I was. And so that made my experience even much better better um because when i walked into the company the first thing that i noticed is they spoke to me and this person don't know who i am and they spoke to me and i was like okay good because you know how you can go into a company and you you um you work there everybody they're gonna treat you differently because they know who you are and they're they're gonna not to say that they're putting on a show but they're putting on a show because i can even think back to some of the times that like with previous managers that i've had at the company that i'm at now boy when well, home office come down oh hey shereen how you doing how's everybody doing they they all happy it's a whole nother thing so um so i was just like you know i wanted to see how it was before i actually got there because i i start work on monday my last day is friday which you're watching this video today i begin work monday um, so when I went to um, the store, I then went around and started to do some apartment hunting. And um, I did a couple of clips of some apartments and stuff like the inside of it that I'm thinking about considering um, moving into. And the company is going to put me up, you know, in a hotel room and all that until I find a place. But anyway, um, so all of that happens and the communication with this new company has been amazing i have been emotional ever since i put in my notice um when me and my general manager were having our um conversation y'all we both cried because we like i said it wasn't a conversation more so on oh shermay you should stay da, 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 da. it was a conversation it was a conversation on life and what i'm trying to do with my life and he he understood that because a lot of decisions that he has made have been for financial for his family and he's well off but you know it's it's you take care of your family and even though i don't have a family currently i know that i will have one and i'm i'm preparing myself for my future husband i am preparing myself for my future kids so this is building me and it's gonna it's going to be an amazing journey and if it don't work out, y'all, I'm okay. I got a lot of talent. I could do a lot of different things. And if it don't work out, which I know that it will work out, but there's always other jobs out there available. So this right now, I'm already at like 30 minutes of talking. Um, so I'm gonna end this video here, but I, I just wanna say like, don't ever be comfortable and miss out on your purpose miss out on the things that you supposed to have in life just because you're comfortable and you don't want to move because if you pray about movement trust me god gonna come in and shake your house upside down because that's exactly what he did to me he shook it <laughs> he, he he shook it and threw me down the hill somewhere threw my whole house down the hill because it was just so much that was going on it was so much so many emotions that i was feeling so much drama that was happening so much stuff from my past trying to come back and i'm just like i don't i don't need this so don't stay comfortable go for whatever in life that you want because at the end of the day nobody's going to take care of you like you take care of you not these jobs not your family not your friends not anybody so if you think that you owe loyalty to anybody especially a company don't i i put my time in and i'm over it over it and i'm i'm not 
but I love the people that I work with and I will continue to cherish them. So if you guys are watching this video, y'all, I love y'all. Y'all the, <laughs> y'all the only reason why I'm still there because <laughs> I love y'all so, so much. And I appreciate y'all. All the conversations. Oh, I don't want to cry no more. All the conversations that I've had with y'all have been amazing. And... Y'all can see me. We could now we can hang out and stuff after work. We can we can do some stuff. We could get together, go out to eat, go you know whatever. We 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 still here. <laughs> so um yeah. So I'm gonna close this video out and my brother them looking at me. <laughs> so I'm gonna close this video out and I will see you guys next.